what inspired you to get into beauty influencing and YouTubing? Okay, um, funny enough, I will say I kind of stumbled on it. I've always loved, you know, anything that had to do with beauty, makeup, right from when I was young. I used to steal my mom's eye pencil, you know, mistakenly like shave off my brows, erase and You know, the way we are when we are girls, just growing up and experimenting. So I always liked it, but I never thought it was going to be a career. And even when we were starting then, there was really nothing like beauty influencing. Even like actual makeup artistry didn't really exist per se. So I stumbled on it being that, or in the sense that I, when I started working, when I was done with school and all, I had a teaching job and all, and then I actually started doing music. Music has always been my first passion. So beauty, um, going into makeup artistry and creating content around beauty, which led me to becoming a beauty influencer, came as a result of me wanting a side hustle that was going to support my music. <laughs> I stumbled on it. So I was doing the whole music and everything and I'm like oh before I become a, pop, a popular musician and you know start making the big box I need something that was also going to be a side hustle and I'm like okay let me turn this all that passion that I've always had for beauty let me actually like start that one as a side hustle so I started that and then started taking makeup clients and before you knew it I'm like okay let me make a video on YouTube and that was just how we started dropping videos on YouTube Instagram and I am a beauty influencer. <laughs> <laughs> and I must say, I'm really, really doing a great job. And thank you. I, I told you before I was able to get to interview you, I typed Nigerian, YouTube, uh, Nigerian beauty influencers and YouTubers. Yes. And it was your name that popped up. That means you are really, really doing something right. So I must commend you for that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. So um, what has inspired you along the journey? What has inspired me? Along the journey. Okay. Um, I think I'm inspired by people that are doing what I do, what's ahead of me. Likes of Jackie Aina. Like there's a lot of them that I can start to name. And then I've also been inspired by the fact that we need more representation as relates to Black African beauty standards. You understand, like, I realized that a lot of people that are dark skinned, people like me, the darker skinned um, people of either African descent or actual Africans, don't really have as much representation as our lighter skinned counterparts. And I know this because when I drop videos and they are directed at people that are our shade, <laughs> You know, I get comments and people are like, oh, like, thank you. And then I make some videos and people are like, oh, I didn't used to think I was beautiful because I was dark and stuff. So I think that inspired me because we need more representation. We need to know that um, beauty is beyond your skin tone and every shade is beautiful. So I think that's just enough inspiration for me. And of course, the passion drives me when I drop content, when I do things and people appreciate it. And I know I'm helping someone out there. That also inspires me as well. So let, let me let me put that directly. Which um, area of beauty yeah. do you influence? Because I can, I can see, apart from the fact that like you, you have your makeup is on point, your hair is on point, your outfit is on point. So I think you are all around. So I just want you to like let me know specifically like which part of the beauty industry do you influence? Okay, I feel like beauty is all encompassing. Like you can't just do makeup and then your hair is unkept, right? Thanks. You can't do like good makeup, nice hair, and then you don't dress well. So I think fashion, hairstyling, makeup, make these are the three like things that make up beauty. Do you understand? So as a beauty influencer, you're not restricted to just makeup, you're not restricted to just hair. It's like the whole package that comes with it. So, well, I am a makeup artist, so my First, my strongest strength will always be the makeup aspect. Then also because I'm creative, just I'm creative even beyond makeup itself. I know I do a bit, I, I do hairstyling, I can do hair, I just don't do it professionally because I don't want to overburden myself with so many things. Then I have a bit of um, 
I'm a bit gifted in styling and kind of like crafts and stuff like that. So sometimes I put it in my kind of content that I create. I don't restrict myself to just doing makeup. If you go to my page, maybe my my social media page, Instagram, YouTube, you see me do something that has to do with like costuming. Um, maybe I may do a certain makeup that represents maybe something, maybe like a Halloween look for, for instance. So I don't just stop at creating the Halloween look on my face. I go ahead to maybe wear an outfit, like style my hair in such a way that suits the Halloween makeup and stuff like that. Do you understand? So yes, in as much as I'm a makeup artist, I'm not restricting myself to just the makeup part of the beauty in content creation. It's really great. That's great. So um, how, how many clients do you work on average a day? Oh, well, can we say a day? Let's just say a week. <laughs> um, yes, I have my clientele. I started doing client makeup even before I started making videos and doing the whole beauty influencer thing. So let's say in a week, I live in Lagos, Nigeria, which is known as the party capital of Nigeria. So there are always parties and stuff. So at least every weekend, I'm having like maybe three to four clients. Then on weekdays, I have clients as well. Or I have um, photo shoots because I do makeup for music video shoots, both gospel, contemporary music. I do for on movie sets as well, short films and all that. So, yeah. So in a week, let's say on a slow week, I may have like three makeup jobs. Then on a good week, I can have as much as five to six makeup jobs or makeup clients. So um, what's the most satisfying comment you have received? So, sorry, what did you say? What's the most, most satisfying, satisfying comment you could see from a client? Oh, my most satisfying comment. I know it's comment. a lot, but dig deep and just give us one. I know it's a lot, but dig deep and just give us one. <laughs> okay. Um, I think, God, there's a lot. I need to really think. Sorry, excuse me. Don't turn it off again. If it goes off, leave it. Because this thing is being filmed. So if the light is being used, it's a problem. Sorry, my I had to give instructions based on my lighting. Okay, so let me see. Yes, I know my yes. Funny enough, my most satisfying client um comment did not come from my client, it came from her husband. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, huh. like she, yes, the bride in question, it was a bride. The bride in question doesn't do makeup on a normal day. Right. So when I did her makeup and, you know, um, her husband saw her, he was wowed. He actually now came to me and then whispered in my ear, like, thank you so much for transforming my wife. Like, what? I really wish you could teach her how to do this after today. It was that comment <laughs> because people tend to feel like men don't really know what makeup is or they don't yeah. appreciate it or whatever, but do yeah. they know when a woman is good they know when makeup is properly applied so that comment i was just grinning i felt like they didn't even have to pay me like the comment <laughs> alone <laughs> yeah so i think wow. that's oh so that is so 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 touching see on yes. this note on this note even if i'm married in ghana right i'll either fly yes. to lagos or you come to America, oh my god I please i have to do your makeup <laughs> <laughs> I have to do your makeup and I'd so love to be sick down. Uh, yes. <laughs> ah, that's, that's really, really nice. Thank you. So uh, what, what would you like to change in the beauty industry across the world? Is there anything you'd like to change? In the beauty industry, yes. I think darker skinned people should be better represented or we should have more representation and then there should be more shade diversity because, I mean, I've not lived outside Nigeria before, but because I'm on the internet and stuff, I hear a lot of the darker skin people in, in countries that are predominantly um, Caucasian or basically not predominantly black. They find it difficult finding foundations that suit, not just foundation, powder, skin products that suit their skin tone. So it's almost like they're not being catered to. A lot of the brands provide um, 
ranges for lighter skin people. So I think that's one thing I'd like to change. And I'd really like for there to be more black owned beauty brands and for them to be, for the black owned beauty products to get, get as much represent, much um, representation basically and exposure as in, they should just be more out there as much as the products that are produced by non-black, not non-black beauty brands. Okay, so there's another thing, okay, this is like a bonus question, very light. <laughs> I like it very much because your many hair makeup as this should work. Um, okay. What will you never go out without? Lipstick oh. or lashes? Choose one. <laughs> um... And I've said lipstick, but I'm more of a lips, lip gloss kind of girl. So I'll say lip gloss. I can do it without lashes, funny enough. Okay. <laughs> right. Right. I almost came on this interview without lashes, actually. But I'm like, no, you don't know who's going to be watching this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. So this is the last, this is the last question that I'll be asking. So for those okay. who like to access your services in Nigeria, how can they reach you and give your contact, your social media handle and all of that? Okay. Okay. Um, I can be contacted. First of all, you can send me an email. My business email is Leah Uzuri at Beauty at gmail.com. Now my um, brand name is actually Leah Uzuri. So let me spell that. L-E-A-U-Z-U-R-I then beauty at gmail.com. So Leah Uzuri beauty at gmail.com. So that's my email. You can email me. Then on social media, I have um, two different professional Instagram pages. Um, there's Leah Uzuri. That's where I post my client makeup. L-E-A-U-Z-U-R-I at Leah Uzuri. Then if you want to see more of me and the content creation part of me, the beauty influencing part of me, that's mostly pictures, videos of me doing makeup on myself, tutorials and all that. You can um, find me on Instagram at Dumebilia, at D-U-M-E-B-I-L-E-A. So that's that. Then, yeah, I'm not very active on Twitter. I'm very active on TikTok, <laughs> you know, basically. So yes, then of course I have my phone number as well. Thank you so much. So officially we have pretty much come to the end of our interview.